This is the Chola News Report for Monday 13, November, 2017. A grenade attack at a peace concert in Bangai, Central African Republic, kills 7 and injures 20. The Riverside City has in the past been a flashpoint for interreligious violence that erupted between Muslims and Christians in 2013 and has since engulfed most of the impoverished, landlocked nation. Interior Minister Henry Wanzat Linguisara said two individuals on a motorcycle approached revelers, attending a concert organized to foster reconciliation and social cohesion late on Saturday night, and threw a grenade into the crowd. A second PK-5 resident and a security source, who asked not to be named, confirmed that three motorcycle taxi drivers were killed in retaliation for the concert attack. Hundreds of sexual abuse survivors and their supporters march in Hollywood, California. Became the latest Hollywood figure to be felled by a sex scandal, following producer Harvey Weinstein, producer-director Brett Ratner, writer-director James DeBack and actor Kevin Spacey. She was referring to President Trump, who was caught bragging in vulgar language on a 2005 video recorded for the Access Hollywood show about grabbing and kissing women without their permission. Boeing announces at the Dubai Air Show that the airline, Emirates will purchase 4,700 and 87 Dreamliners with a list value of United States 15 billion. The Dubai Airlines chairman, Sheikh Om bin Said Al Maktoum, said the aircraft had been chosen over the Airbus A350. The Frank German company and Emirates were understood to be in intense final negotiations to have an announcement ready for this week's show. Emirates, the largest airline in the Middle East, is already the biggest customer for Boeing's 777, with 165 in service and another 160 for on order. A 7.3 magnitude earthquake strikes near Halabjok, Iraq killing at least 145 people and injuring more than 850 with structural damage, reported in both Iraq and Iran. The main hospital of the capital of the county was severely damaged, and could not treat hundreds of injured people who were taken there, the head of the Iranian emergency services, Pyrus Ainkolavan said. An Iraqi meteorology official put its magnitude at 6.5 with the epicenter in Penjwin in Sulaymaniyya province in the Kurdistan region close to the main border crossing with Iran. Electricity was cut off in several Iranian and Iraqi cities, and fears of aftershocks sent thousands of people in both countries out onto the streets and parks in cold weather. The United States Geological Survey said, Sunday's powerful quake hit close to Halabja, southeast of Sulaymaniyya, a city in the semi-autonomous Kurdish region of northern Iraq. Iranian news agency ISNA said at least 61 people were killed, and 300, injured in Kermanshah province on the Iraqi border. The death toll continued to climb, early Monday after a powerful earthquake, shook the Iran-Iraq border region. Iranian social media and news agencies showed images, and videos of people, fleeing their homes into the night. Iran's state-run television reported the increase in casualties early Monday and said rescue work was continuing overnight, and would accelerate during the daytime.